So a couple of years ago, I did a program on landing the Cardinal. And two years, 550 landings, and 450 hours later, landing is still my favorite part. Landings synthesize my flying skill, and it's where everything gets tested in a couple of seconds, and it has an immediate payoff. The trick to landing the Cardinal is all in the stabilator. You really feel the moment of the airplane in action. You can actually feel the aircraft move about the CG, and you feel how much control the stabilator actually has, especially when you are in ground effect. It is significant. But after a couple of years, there is something else I discovered. The moment the Cardinal enters ground effect, the Cardinal doesn't like to stop flying. This is why your approach speeds are essential to landing the Cardinal. Like any other landing, it begins with the approach. Use your trim, trim up the Cardinal on approach and get her set up for landing early on. A solid approach will set you up for a smooth landing. You really have to nail down your approach speeds. Check your POH for speeds with power and flap configurations. Every plane, even Cardinals are a little different. I have 150 horsepower with a power flow exhaust installed, so my power is a tad bit on the anemic side, but if you have a different engine, your numbers are going to be slightly different. So my final approach speed with full flaps is 70 miles an hour. If I hold that and I am prepared to air 5 miles an hour around the positive for safety, I have a nice stabilized approach. I want to be crossing the threshold at 70 miles an hour. The real surprise I learned over the last couple of years is the moment the airplane enters ground effect, you feel it. The trick I discovered is you want to come into ground effect as gently as possible. If you pop the Cardinal into ground effect, you'll pop right out of it. Here is a real subtle example. When you are in ground effect, you really feel the stabilator movements. And you'll need a slight hand here. And having that airspeed under control is important. Right when the airplane enters ground effect is when you really can feel the aircraft move about that CG point. You feel it, it's kind of cool. Use that to bleed off the remaining five or so knots and you'll touch down nice, smooth, and easy. My stall horn goes off at 65 miles an hour and I try to be about six inches from the runway when that happens. Sometimes it's hard to gauge that little bit of distance through the windshield, but over time you'll get it. As with any other airplane, crosswind correction is crucial. This wasn't always on my mind until a gust caught me by surprise one day, and it only took once. Now it's always first on my mind. Apply crosswind correction at all times, even when taxiing the Cardinal. This plane wants to fly even when she is on the ground. So I was looking back at the first program I did on landing the Cardinal, and one major difference is I nail the center line at all times. And I think that's a result of my commercial training. It is just a good professional habit to get into. Taxiing, takeoff, and landing always nail the center line. The Cardinal is an awesome first, second, or third airplane to own. They can be touchy, but they are absolutely amazing. So I strongly suggest go out and buy one if you can, or go out and fly one. So here we are. I hope it helps. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And remember, if you are over 50, get up and get in the air. Thanks for watching.